What is reality? It's a big question, I know, but it does make you think about how your eye and brain communicate. Your eyes see things, but sometimes your brain can change what you're seeing. This is known as the neuroscience of illusion. We're all familiar with optical illusions, but sometimes they're saying something about you. That image, which spins when you look at it a certain way, actually says something about the way your brain works. So today we're going to look at various optical illusions and see what they say about you. Perhaps you have an undiagnosed mental disorder. Or maybe your brain is trying to tell you something through your eyes. Or maybe your brain is trying to tell you something through your eyes. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at if this image moves for you, call a doctor now. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Mental age. Have you noticed that some young people can be really mature and some older people can be really immature? Well, that's because there's a concept known as mental age. This is the age of your brain, not the age of your physical body. And there's a pretty good way to work this out. You need to look at this optical illusion. So check out this image and tell me, what did you see first? Did you see the young girl or the old man? If you picture the image beginning on the left, it kind of looks like a young girl facing to the left. But if you start the image at the right, then you'll see an old man looking down. Your mental age can be determined by which you saw first. Now, this doesn't mean you're smart or dumb. Mental age is simply how you see the world. Do you see it through the eyes of a young kid or through someone who's much older? If you saw the old man first, then you're more mature in your thoughts. You've seen the world and have had ups and downs. You've had real life experience and this has gained you a lot of knowledge over the years. This is good because you're kind of an old soul and as time has gone on, you've grown as a person. You're also likely humble, hence seeing the old man with his head bowed down. But if you saw the young girl in the illusion, this means you're likely young at heart. You have curiosity and look behind surface level things. It's very rare that people keep their inner child as they grow up. But if you're on the older side and saw this child first, then you have a young mental age. This image was created by a neuroscientist to establish people's mental ages. Mental well-being. This image was created by a Japanese neuroscientist, and it can actually reveal a lot about your mental state and well-being. Check out this image, and yes, it is an image. You may see movement here and assume it's a video, but it's not. It's a still photograph. If the image is still for you, then you're a calm person. If the image is moving a bit, then you're stressed. But if it's moving like a carousel, then you're very stressed. I'll put a live poll on screen right now and you can vote. Do you see the image is still moving a bit or moving like a carousel? If you see it moving like a carousel, then you may have high blood pressure. You also may be depressed or have severe mental anxiety. If that's the case, you may want to speak to a doctor or a therapist to work through these emotions. But it's pretty amazing how through neuroscience, our eyes can tell us a lot about our brains. Intelligence. This optical illusion will measure your attention to detail and intelligence. So check out this photo and tell me, what did you see first? Most people see the old couple first. If you saw the old couple first, then you take a larger view of life. According to studies, you're more likely to be male. And you also enjoy strategy and managing things. You don't sweat the small stuff and instead step back and see the wider picture. You dislike micromanaging, but you are good at planning things out. But if you saw three people, then you have a great attention to detail. You also likely have a high IQ and maybe female. However, if you saw the three people first, then there are still downsides. That is that you pay attention to small things and nuances. You're obsessed with details and plan out everything very meticulously when you do. You also like to get to know people intimately instead of on a surface level. And this also makes you good in relationships even when you don't have a great partner. Optimist or Pessimist Some say there are two types of people in the world. Those who view this as a glass half full and those who view this as a glass half empty. You may be wondering to yourself, am I more optimistic or pessimistic? Well, there's a way to work this out through an optical illusion. Check out this image and tell me, is the cat going up or down the stairs? If you saw the cat walking towards you up the stairs, then congrats, you're an optimist. You likely see potential even when things aren't going great. You seek out the positives in every situation and see this as a glass half full. You also have a clear ambition and are well motivated. But what if you saw the cat going downstairs? If this is the case, then you may be on the pessimistic side. You may complain more than other people. And perhaps you focus on the bad side of situations more than you should. Because of past experiences, you may not trust people very much. And you may be slightly skeptical of good situations, thinking, what's the catch? 
The upside is, this makes it much more difficult for people to try and trick or deceive you. And you'll likely realize if someone's cheating on you or deceiving you in a relationship. Spontaneous or Thinker This is a very famous neuroscience image. And it's a way psychologists can determine whether you're more spontaneous or a thinker. Have a look at this image and tell me, what do you see first? Do you see a duck or a rabbit? If you saw the rabbit first, then you're likely very quick-witted. You're more spontaneous and don't plan your future out too much. You're ready to act and react to any situation that comes your way. And you likely have a good sense of humor no matter what comes up in your life, good or bad. If you saw the duck first, then you're more of a deep thinker. On the surface, to the people around you, you may appear calm. But really, you're thinking things over very deeply on the inside. You may not show it, but your mind is always at work. And even when you should be focusing on other things, your mind may be preoccupied thinking about something else. You also think before you speak or you act. And this is sometimes a good quality and sometimes bad, as you miss out on opportunities because you're not spontaneous enough. How do you accept something? This is a great illusion developed by a neuroscientist. It measures how you accept things that come to you in life. Do you trust people generally or do you not let your guard down until you know them quite intimately? If you first saw pillars in this image, then you likely trust people pretty easily. You're not too skeptical of others and take people at face value. You believe that generally most people in life are good people and you likely have a sense of innocence about you. But if you looked beyond the pillars, then you may be one of those rare people who see past the obvious. When it comes to people and situations, you read between the lines. This means it's very hard to deceive or lie to you. Instead of being very chatty, you may prefer to listen and observe. You're like a social detective and are trying to work out what people are thinking at any given time. So there we go, through the use of images, you now know a little bit more about your brain and how it works. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There's some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.